Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary theory. And in this video, we are going to discuss the influence of Louis Althusser on Marxist literary theory. Introduction Marxist literary theory has been shaped and influenced by various thinkers over time, with one of the most prominent figures being the French Marxist theoretician Louis Althusser, 1918-1990. His contributions to Marxist theory have redefined key concepts, allowing him more nuanced understanding of the relationship between culture, literature, and economics. Althusser's concepts such as overdeterminism, relative autonomy, and ideology have provided a framework for understanding how literature operates within society. This video explores the key terms introduced by Althusser and their impact on Marxist literary criticism. Overdeterminism and Relative Autonomy One of the significant contributions of Althusser to Marxist thought is the concept of overdeterminism, a term borrowed from Freud. Overdeterminism refers to an effect that arises from multiple causes acting together, rather than being solely the result of one factor such as the economic base. This idea challenges the simplistic base superstructure model in traditional Marxist theory, which posits that the economic base solely determines the cultural superstructure. Closely related to this is Althusser's concept of relative autonomy, which suggests that while culture and economics are interconnected, art and literature possess a degree of independence from economic forces. This allows literature to have its own dynamics and influence without being entirely dictated by the economic base. Althusser's notions of overdeterminism and relative autonomy bring complexity to the Marxist understanding of how art and culture interact with economics, offering a more flexible approach than earlier Marxist models. Ideology and the Role of Culture Ideology plays a central role in Althusser's thought. He defines it as a system of representations that exists at the heart of a given society. These representations include images, myths, ideas and concepts that underpin the dominant values of society. In this framework, literature becomes a crucial vehicle for disseminating the values and assumptions of the status quo. Unlike traditional Marxist views that see culture as merely reflecting the economic base, Althusser's ideology theory gives literature a more active role in shaping societal norms. Althusser emphasizes that ideology operates at subconscious level, meaning the dominant values of society often go unrecognized but are omnipresent in cultural artifacts. This understanding allows for a more complex view of how literature interacts with societal power structures, making it a tool for both maintaining and challenging the status quo. Decentering and Rejection of Simplistic Models Althusser's concept of decentering is another important contribution to Marxist theory. Decentering refers to the idea that structures, including society, have no fixed essence or central focus. In contrast to the traditional Marxist view, where the economic base is seen as the center of society, Althusser's decentering suggests that no single element holds dominance over all others. This means that while economics influences society, art, culture and literature also have significant roles, and the relationship between these elements is fluid rather than hierarchical. This idea aligns with Althusser's critique of the simplistic base superstructure model. By introducing decentering, Althusser provides a framework 
in which literature is not merely a passive reflector of economic conditions but has its own distinct influence and autonomy. State Power and Ideological Apparatuses Althusser draws a distinction between state power and state control to explain how the ruling class maintains dominance in society. State power refers to the institutions like courts, prisons and the military which maintain order through external force. However, state control is maintained through more subtle means using what Althusser calls state ideological apparatuses. These include institutions such as schools, churches, media and art which foster ideologies that support the political status quo. Through these apparatuses, individuals internalize dominant ideologies making them believe that they are freely choosing their beliefs and actions. In reality, these choices are shaped by the dominant social forces. Literature as part of these apparatuses plays a role in perpetuating the ruling class's ideology by embedding these values in stories, characters and narratives. Hegemony and Interpolation The concept of hegemony introduced by Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci complements Althusser's ideas. Hegemony refers to the dominance of a particular worldview maintained not through overt coercion but through cultural consent. Gramsci argues that ideology becomes internalized, making it seem natural and unquestionable. Interpolation, Althusser's term, describes how individuals are hailed by ideology, leading them to see themselves as free agents when they are, in fact, operating within predetermined ideological frameworks. Through interpolation, Literature plays a significant role in making ideologies appear natural, reinforcing the status quo while giving the illusion of free choice. This concept underscores how literature and culture can be tools for both reinforcing and challenging dominant social orders. Marxism, Psychoanalysis and Literary Criticism Althusser's ideas have inspired other Marxist critics to engage with different schools of thought, such as psychoanalysis. One such critic is the American Marxist Frederick Jameson, who attempts to reconcile Marxist criticism with psychoanalytic concepts. In his book, The Political Unconscious, Narrative as a Socially Symbolic Act, 1981, Jameson argues that Literature often attempts to repress historical truths, which can be uncovered through analysis. He extends psychoanalytic concepts like the unconscious and repression to explain how literature can mask or reveal the ideologies of a particular historical period. This approach shows that while Marxist criticism traditionally rejected psychoanalysis, for focusing on individual psychology rather than social structures, it can be integrated into a broader analysis of literature and ideology. Conclusion Louis Althusser's contributions to Marxist theory, particularly his ideas of overdeterminism, relative autonomy, ideology, and decentering, have had a profound impact on literary criticism. His revisions of traditional Marxist thought offer a more flexible and nuanced understanding of how literature operates within society. By highlighting the role of ideological structures and the subtle ways in which state control is maintained, Althusser broadens the scope of Marxist literary analysis beyond the simplistic base superstructure model. His influence continues to shape contemporary Marxist criticism, offering tools for examining the complex interplay between literature, ideology and power. So this was the discussion on the influence of Louis Althusser on Marxist literary theory. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other topic. Until then, 
गुड बाय एंड थैंक यू